It's the clubhouse, the clubhouse, the clubhouse. Old friends call in to play some games and hoping some new friends will do the same. It's a party in the clubhouse, the clubhouse. Dude? 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 It's not even a bingo uh, day. I guess he's not here. Oh. Yeah. Studio's not back to one, is it? No. Like, shoot. Huh. Well, I mean, this is our chance to shine. DJ Scotty Fresh, here Let's we go. It. Let's do ah. this. I hope he's okay. I know. Me too. I, I think it's such a nice day out. He's probably out there, you know. On, on a skateboard. skateboard. Of course. Sure. I mean, yeah, it would have been nice to have the heads up, though, because now it's on us. We're going to do this. Let's do it. Yes. I so, I some hello. some content we can play. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to play some games here from the booth. This is going to be kind of a tech show. Uh, we're going to show you uh, GeoGuessr, if you like geography. Just a stick, uh, stick right here and play with us. Also, we're going to highlight some new videos that we have coming out here on Channel 13. Exactly, yeah. Mostly uh, of which, Scott, you edited, right? That's, yep. That's pretty cool. Do some editing uh, when we're not doing live shows, so... That's all right. Let me just bring this down. I think that's we're hearing ourselves a bit. All right, there we go. So uh, yeah, let's just get started here. All right. Do you want to? Do you know uh, anything about GeoGuessr? Right, uh, we've played it on yeah, the shows played before. It a few times. You want to start with that? May as well, okay. and then we'll get into some other stuff. But um, let's just take a look at um, this this show. You like geography, right? Do you? I wish I was better at it. I've heard you are very good. Well, I'm not great, but I do enjoy playing it. And this is kind of the, um, it's, it's, it's a, basically it's just like when you see Susie get dropped in, into anywhere or where in the world is the dude? You know, this is, this is the game that we use and we're kind of cool. pulling the back the curtain here. This is GeoGuessr and it is a, um, a web-based game. Wouldn't you call it that? Yeah. Okay. I would. So we're just going to go ahead and duel somebody else. So we're playing somebody else here. And uh, we're even going to make it ranked. Um, and we're going to be battling. Who are we going to be battling? See, this is Star Studio. Julian. Uh, Julian. Okay. So he's really good. He's an upper silver. So basically, it dropped us somewhere in the world. We have to figure out where we are. That's the, that's the key. And as soon as they guess... The, the pressure's on. The clock starts, and you've only got 15 seconds to make a guess. So you want to make your guess as quickly as possible, but you also want to be close to where it is. Signs are very big. You know, you got to find signs. Or can. Well, I, I don't know. You're looking at, we're looking at linguistic clues, you know, some words. Oh, he just guessed. So where do you think we are? Uh, Not in America. No. Let's just, I, it feels European to me. Uh, um, I'm just going to go with, um, like, Serbia or Perfect. something. Let's try it. I don't know. Oh, we were way off, and he was right on. That was Iceland. Okay. So <clears throat> we got we got knocked down pretty hard there. Um, we're going to give it another shot here in round two. Mountainous. You know, we, we're looking at topography, which means, you know. I don't recognize those chevrons. Oh, yeah, chevrons. Chevrons and bollards. Uh, oh. Those are sh things you'll get to know as you're. No dividing lines on the highway. Yep, There's no dividing lines. This, does it feel like um, the U.S. to you, America at all? No. No, it doesn't. doesn't me either. Uh, I know I've never been to this place. Um, but, you know, it doesn't mean we can't make a guess. It's kind of what the name of the game is. So. Um. Kazakhstan? I don't know. Yeah, I'm feeling like, I mean, there's a mix of green and of uh, dry. Ooh, it's dry Christ. and it's green. I, I don't know. I'm going to go Turkey. Can Let's we just it. go Turkey? Yep. All right, somewhere in Turkey. I, I don't know if we're even close, but I was right. I was close. I mean, let's see who was closer. He was just barely closer. We were both about 80 miles away, so we both guessed really well there. All right, so we can, um, even though the round starts, we can kind of see the shadow there. Yeah. Now, Ooh. what are you thinking here? Uh, we're looking around, we're looking around. Trees, it looks somewhere by the equator. And then you've got to see which way we're going. Hopefully, you won't get, like, you know, motion sickness from us zooming around. But uh, you got to move fast in sign. this game. So. Find a sign. Well, oh, Supermercado. What is that? What? Supermarket. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh, that's oh, right. What did that sign say? The La Los. Los Amigos, okay, probably. So it's probably Spanish, maybe uh, Mexico. Canceria. Eric. Eric. Wow. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah. So we're either we're probably in South America or Central America. Sure. Possibly Mexico. Um, that might be all we can get. You know, we we can kind of see people or blurred out faces. That one's not very blurred out, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Do we um, get more points if we guess first? Or you not? don't. You don't. Um, it's the same. It's just basically the distance between um, the actual location and the part, the place that you guessed. Oh. oh, there's some kissing going on. Wow. We didn't know that was going to happen. Sometimes you see things uh, on here that are really unexpected that happen on the side of the road. You wonder if they did that for the um, the Google car or if they sure. just didn't know. Let's, uh... Sometimes people will kind of perform for the Google car a little bit, like with a, you know, sure. handstand or like a, you know, they wave at it a lot. Um, I don't know. I, I sh your guess is as good as mine. Let's you go Mexico. You're going to go Mexico. Northern, southern. Most of the population Mexico is around City. Mexico City. It doesn't feel very populated in this area, but we're going to go ahead and take a guess. It was Argentina, wow. right near him. Buenos Aires, and he did really well. He knocked us out, out so huh? that's it. Yeah. Okay. We lost. We do are we, in the silver division, which is... Do we need to get a play again? We could play again, or we could take a look at one of our videos here at sure. Star Studio. Let's go ahead and look at it. What are we looking at first, All right, Scott? this first one is going to be a, a newly... Re this will be releasing today. This is oh. called... Alice from Facilities, and this video was a spit take. And as everybody maybe knows, the spit take is something you do in comedy, as the show will describe. Hey, this is a premiere then. Nobody's seen this, huh? This is like, that's, that's this correct. is kind of a big deal. Might be a few little changes in here, but uh, here we go. Oh, great. Let's check it out. You have commentary along the way if we'd like. Okay, well, let's let it play for a bit. Some say she was born in the backwoods, raised by a grizzly bear. She could speak to the critters somehow. Others swear they saw her just appear from a golden haze, a halo of sawdust in her hair. The legend, lore, and myth of good old Alice. No one knows for sure from which she came. She can clamp and cut and bolt a nut, old oh, Alice. And Alice. Ain't nothing gonna stop her and her sidekick feathers. Yeehaw! <laughs> I never met Crush. Crush was a ticket for me. Oh, 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 I got the monkey wrench for you. You're gonna love it. Hey, hey, Alice. What's up? Uh, how, hey, how are things going at facilities? Hey, uh, dude, yeah. Star Studio. <laughs> yeah, you know, doing it on the daily. Just, you know, top of the top, T of the T. Top of the tater, <laughs> top of the world, looking down on creation. Cool, yeah, so yeah. great, awesome to hear. Um, to have a great lunch. Yeah, yeah, Star Stadium. Yeah. Hashtag. Oh yeah, hashtag. Later, hashtag Bye. later. <laughs> Bye. Anyway, um, what I was saying was, yeah, and then I was like. Wait, cats don't wear mittens. It's certainly not in the winter. <laughs> Dude, you almost made me do a spit take. What? Really? <laughs> that would have been funny. Oh, that would have been embarrassing. What the heck is a spit take? A spit take is the act of spitting out one's drink in response to something funny or surprising, especially for comic effect. I've never, ever, ever, even ever heard of that before. I bet that's something I would be really good at. Oh. This is like, like deja vu. 
Incorrect, Alice. Deja vu is the illusion of previously experiencing something when you're actually experiencing it for the first time. Okay, then it's like luck of the draw. Not exactly. Luck of the draw means that something is the result of chance and you can't do anything about it. You had a choice to look at the newspaper. That means luck of the draw is inapplicable in this situation. Okay, then it's like, uh, I don't know, it's like, it's like a fluke. Fluke. I'll take, uh, yeah, fluke for 20. Yes, that's correct. And much more appropriate for your situation. A fluke is an unlikely chance of occurrence and a surprising piece of luck. Well, whatever it is, I'm going to take advantage of this. You better believe it. All right. So if you want to find out what happens to Alice in her pursuit to figure out what a spit take is and if she can accomplish that, you'll have to stay tuned to yeah. uh, Channel 13 here, Star Studio. That's right. Should we jump into another Later game? Later today. Oh, yeah. You want to get back to GeoGuessr? Yeah. Okay. Well, I want to invite everybody here to... Uh, hold on. I'm going to pull up the graphic here and uh, invite people to um, you know be on the, be on the show here. Yeah. You can always call 55020 like Timmy does from home or like, um, you know, other people do when they play bingo and that yeah. kind of thing. Vote in polls uh, on the kids' clubhouse and that sort of thing. And if you have any questions or about the content, you know, what we use to edit with, oh, what yeah. we shoot with, I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, or I'd love to hear any feedback or, you know, if you have new ideas you want to see on the channel, let us know. Yeah. It's kind of an ask us anything segment yeah. here, yeah. That's that's kind of a thing that people do on the on the internet. If you need life advice, whatever. Oh man, I don't know about that. We might not be be your people for that, but um, here, let's get jump right back into a game of GeoGuessr, and I will pull down that graphic. All right, what are we looking at, Scott? Again, uh, it South, feels, South America. Yeah. How, and what what gives you that clue that you think we're in South uh, America? Bright festive colors. Yeah, the, you know, the buildings. The buildings. Okay, yeah. And we're looking at, obviously, Spanish. If you can, if you can speak, that's one thing. If you can speak Spanish and read some of these signs for us, that would be super helpful. Oh, look at that. Look at all those tools on the wall. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah some of these markets just have everything in them, you know, like these bodega-type places. Um. So we're looking down the street. I'm feeling like this is, you know, Guatemala or something. Okay. But here's a taxi. Sometimes they have the name of the city on the taxi. If it was Guatemala, CD. correct me if I'm... It's Mexico City. Ciudad de Mexico. So Perfect. We know. We know where we are. We Guatemala, we'd see a lot more tuk-tuks. Tuk-tuks? What are those? Uh, it's like the, the taxi over there. Oh, okay. And yes, I was 1.7 one miles away. Oh, boy. Yes, Nuts. so we did pretty good. We did actually. You can't do much better than that, to be honest. I mean, you can, but it's almost a perfect score. Five thousand is a perfect score. That was forty nine ninety one. What does the sign say? Looks like we're in another Spanish-speaking country. Centro Internacional. That means the uh, international center. center. There we go. Nice job. Um, we're going down the street. Tell me if you see anything interesting. You know, I wish I knew numbers for like the three one five. Like what area code is yeah. that? I that's a that's a good I way to know where you are. Out. Country codes as well. If you see them on the back of trucks or something, it'll be like dot mx for Mexico or sure. dot co for Colombia or something. Ooh, so the three colors there. What is that Puerto ooh, Rico? Oh, but then you got oh there's another flag. Italy on the other side. That could be, uh, you know, a bunch of different countries have that green, white, red combination. More than just Italy? Yeah. Okay. I think um, Hungary. Okay, we're going to definitely find something here. Um, Urbano, SITP on the side of the bus there. Oh, we, they just guessed, so we got to guess something. Um, oh, boy. It's busy. Oh, the yellow license plates. I wish somebody would call us and know what we're doing. We're supposed to do. Brazil? I'm gonna just say Bogota, Columbia. Columbia. I Perfect. don't know. I'm just very close. Wow. I I don't know how I guess that. Sometimes it just you get the right vibes and you can guess it. So we won uh, that one. We we yeah. So I mean it was a virtual tie. Okay. So I was just going on Ooh. vibes there. Here we go. You see these 
Asian um, characters here. Now, there is a way to differentiate some of these. And in this particular case, we see circles. And those circles often will signify, um, tell us that we are in Korea. That's like Korean. If I'm wrong here, I will eat my words and I will apologize to every. And it, it looks um, happier. So I'm getting, are you going to, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. You think so it's the, North Korea or South? I think it's going to be South because I don't think that they have a lot of Google car coverage in North Korea. Probably not. So we're going to go with, you know, right around Seoul. Let's just try it. We're putting the other opponent on the clock First here. First time. So now the pressure's on him or her or them to. And I was wow. very close. Another 16 one. miles. Good job, Mr. Wizard. Just a soul. Here we go. The next Let's round, round there. four. We're looking at a bank. It starts with an X. Oh, this or up here. English, but that. It looks, doesn't it look like Russian. Eastern European? Yeah, Russian, Russian Eastern European, Ukraine. So we're going to kind of look around here and try to find a clue as to where we are. These buses are always good. It's a yellow bus. See, somebody from this split part would absolutely know where it is. Ooh, wearing jackets, so it might be kind of cold. Look at that word. That's definitely like Russian or, you know, some something Eastern European, right? Oh, there's a, there's going to be a country code at the end of this. What does that say? MN. Is it MN? Is it? It's not Minnesota, though. It's probably not Minnesota. You're right. Um, is it Montenegro then? M N? But I I I don't think that they have that language there. Uh it's kind of mountainous too, which makes me think uh it's not Russia. Okay. So we're gonna have to make a guess here pretty soon. I'm looking for a country code on the end of these web addresses. Um and I'm not seeing anything right now, unless you can see something. How come you don't see a lot of country codes in U.S.? Um, because they put because it's .com here, you know. For some reason, mm. when we're when we have our web addresses, they're just .com. Other countries, they use the they end of the country code. Okay, so uh, I, I uh, should we just say, um, mm, man, I don't know. Uh, you want to go Kazakhstan sure, or something? Let's okay, do that. I don't know. And, um, shoot, I didn't get my guess in at time, but we were closer than them if, if I had got it in. It was, it was, it was what does this Uzbekistan. Mean? Okay, 1.5 damage. This means the stakes are going up, and um, they can cause more damage. When you lose all of your health or whatever, then you're out. Okay, now we're looking at these letters with the accent marks above the vowels and consonants. Uh, usually that's like, I, I usually feel like it's Czech or Polish. Should we put them on edge? So I'm going to put it right check. on the border of che of Czechia and Poland and see what happens. How many years have you been playing this game? Uh, about, a, about a year now. Okay. We were pretty close. We were on the border of Poland and Czechia, 83 miles away. Ooh, Our opponent down. guessed Germany, which was... Double damage. This should This should do him. Or her. Yep, this could be the knockout round. We'll see. So it looks kind of nice, but here's some here's a billboard with some information. Again, we're seeing those. Uh, yep, and I see a CZ right behind that check. tree. The country code that's going to be a check. Um, it's going to be check. So it doesn't look very urban. I'm going to go outside of Prague. We're basically going in the general area that we were just in on the last round, which sometimes does happen. Well, so. trampoline. This is fun. I hope it's fun for others. I don't know. But yeah, we were close. And we, oh, almost knocked out our opponent. This is definitely going to be, if, if we get any damage, if we're at all closer to, our, uh, to the destination than our opponent, we are going to uh, knock him out. Asento. Asento. What kind of what kind of word do you think that is? Speed up. But like what language? Oh. <sighs> These like Spanish style roofs. I don't think it's Spain, but Italy. I, I I feel like I feel like it might be Italy or somewhere around there, Slovenia. Um. It kind of looks nice. Like Ooh. I would want to visit this area. It looks. 
kind of neat. Okay, here's another one. Serin Ha. Okay, Ha is usually like Portuguese. Okay. I don't know. So I'm going to guess somewhere. I'm just going to go off yep. in Brazil because they speak Portuguese there. And I was wrong because it's actually in Portugal. We might get knocked out. Wow, what a turn of events. I should have gone oh, to Portugal. And we're out. We lost again. Wow. But that's how it goes with geoguessing, you know? Mm hmm. So when those stakes start to get higher, I mean, anything can happen. And uh, we played a good game, but we lost. So it's time to take another look at another premiere. Is this going to be a premiere or is this something that. This is something that's on, but we can kind of go into context a little okay. bit about yeah. it. Yeah, we'll set it up. Let's hear what. Let's so, again, this is about. another Alice from Facilities video. Oh. Um, Alice is played by Sarah Agnew, uh, producer <gasps> here at Star Studio. Are we supposed to say that? Yeah, maybe not. Alice isn't. Al I thought I saw her working. Oh. In the, in the, yeah. She, she works in both places. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, th this video in particular uh, was done with Cardboard Kingdom or Adventures in Cardboard. Oh. Where in the summer they have these camps where kids from like probably 10 to 16 can go out and build. Um, a castle out of cardboard oh, and fun. their armor and swords. So this is kind of our lead into that. All right. I go. can't wait. Yeah, let's do it. Let's check it out. Good tunes. Good tunes. Did you pick this song out? I did. Yep. at work right now that's what she does doing her thing I'm missing my tape measure you can use mine no 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 you you, you don't understand this was this tape measure is a family relic it's been in my family for centuries so there's as you can tell the wigs this is how we show that oh the ancestors the ancestors Alice's ancestors. Yeah. This is great. Wig and the tape measure needs shot. Oh man, they all have this. They all have the same, same hairstyle. I know. Yep. And there's the measure, the tape measure. Right. I have to find that tape measure. So I'll kind wow. of go, th go through this one a little now. bit. Yeah. So ah! Alice, Alice has to go on these different quests. <laughs> Looking for it oh and speed it up, and then she ah. eventually makes it to a park and meets this staff member. Oh, she's that you great. Search for that hard to I've find. seen this before. Knights used to do it all the time. They used to go on quest to save a damsel in distress, capture a castle, or retrieve an artifact. Can I give some of my crests of feathers? Okay. Feathers is her sidekick, squirrel. I oh, have yeah. just what you need. What's up? Hmm. Here, oh. study this and remember all the information an and you'll be prepared for your quest. There's feathers. Oh my god. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> oh. Let's say how to become a knight. Where'd she go? Yep. Okay. How did she know Feather's name? I'm going to become a knight. Come on, Feathers. So next. Alice will do a training montage here. So we did this at Lake Nicholas. That's a recognizable horn line, isn't it? So yep. Very epic. She's doing some weight training. Just kind of speed this one up a bit. Do some more. And then she wakes up exhausted. What? And Feathers? She's a knight. Oh, wow. Is it a dream? I, well, I guess we'll have to find out. I did it! I really did it this time! There you go. We'll see some other kids there at the Adventures in Cardboard Camp. Great shot. Great shot. Let's go. Is that you? Yeah. Alice and I did the shot. This whole video. Just You us. have a ginormous sword there. Huh? It's a, a cake slicer. It's very hot. Oh. This day. Very May I hot. compare it to mine own? Yeah, sure. Here. So yeah, I met some other kids and show you the, what the Defend castle looked like. From cool. the castle. That's my quest. We'll speed up. Oh my gosh. So this is the castle here. 
and then they were able to make that. Alice staying pretty cool in that full polyester yeah. outfit at 85 degrees as well. Looking it's it out. A true pro right there. And again, you'll have to let's go look find around. out what happens sure in this one. Oh yeah, we don't want to give too much away nope. here. Yeah, let's just let's little, uh, little snippets. Let's just cut it right there. You know? Perfect. That was cool. That yeah, was cool. It was, very, it's, uh, it was fun. Yeah, and you shot and edited that whole thing. Nicely done. Yep. Incredible. You. Uh, it's quite the contribution Thank to you. the channel. Thank yeah, you. nicely done. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, keep it right here on Channel 13, and you'll see the end of that. You'll see what happens. Was it a dream, or was it a reality? Does she find Alice? her tape measure? From oh, her yeah. Quest? That's, the, that's the quest. Not the usual quest of uh, a knight, but, you know, that's, that's Alice for you. That's Alice. You never yeah. know. Well, you want to get back into a um, yeah, let's go back, guesser? Yeah, back to the game. Why not? So, if you remember last, we lost. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, yeah, we're going to... Get rid of our tabs here. I'm just going to quick. Oh, full screen uh, action. Oh, oops. Hold on. Let's cut back to here. I'll figure it out. Uh, oh, shoot. But not, not a big deal. Or Un just under pressure. Not yeah, it's fine. Not a big deal. It's fine. You guys can see our tabs. We're, 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 there's nothing up there that's going to be like your incriminating. Oh, logo look. Picture. Oh, yeah. That's the Star Studio one. So we're playing a lower silver um silver division person so we should win right we're kind of like the favor favored person to win here what do you see um, here Bra Braso Braso Brasov Bucharest uh, I think that's Bucharest okay all right so it's going to be in uh, Romania it it's in between so it says Bucharest and Bucharest way. so yeah so are we here then I'm or? just going to go in between the two Okay. The cities that I see on there, I don't know. Oh, yeah, Barasso. I suppose I could have looked it up. And he was a little bit closer, but it was really... he. Only, they only got 24 points on us. Not a lot. And Not a lot of game that, left. Yeah, he has to score 6,000 points on us. So it was, you just want to get close and then put the pressure Ooh. on them. This could be not America. Okay, we see that little circle above the A. Yeah. Uh, that's a linguistic clue. And that will be, you know, we see all these pine trees. You know, where do we usually see pine trees? Oh, man. In the northern hemisphere. I want to go there. Like wherever far that is. northern hemisphere. It looks, yeah, it looks like, I bet it smells you know. just amazing. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. So, you know, with the dot over the thing, it's got to be Norway or Sweden. I'm just going to go right in the middle, you know, and just put the pressure on our opponent to, to find it as well. But... I'm I'm quite confident it's going to be somewhere in Scandinavia. Have you ever been? No, no. I would love to. Have you? Nope. I think I think the dude has been there. So wow. we were right. I was always away. They guessed Minnesota. Oh wow! Did they? Or uh, oh, South Dakota. Close. That was not a good guess. <laughs> did not look like South Dakota. There mountains, South Dakota. I mean, there's those big hills, right? The Black Hills, but That's it true. doesn't look like that. Um, Is it Billie Eilish? Where? In the pink jacket. Probably not. Maybe. Oh, we see, a, we see a flag there. Do you know what flag that is? I do. What is it? Switzerland. Switzerland is correct. We're going to go it's ahead like and that, just guess that you it's know, Switzerland. that joke. Oh, yeah. I don't know much about Switzerland, but their flag is a big plus. <laughs> yes. Because it looks like a plus sign. I love it. I love that joke. So, Switzerland, i got to find it. It's north of Italy. It is west of France. It is south of Germany. We're going to say it's a smaller town in switzerland hopefully it's not just like somebody's house that's really yeah. proud of being swiss right that's always possible you know but this that looks like it's french or something Oof. they really got in there they said zurich which is i believe the biggest city in switzerland it's still ahead okay round four here we go we're looking at some people south america kids based on the can't really tell Mountainous. Yeah. <clears throat> it looks warm. Yeah, really warm. We're going to, there's a sign up ahead here. Can't read it. It's too far. Sorry if you, I, you know, I'm swishing around too much. Um, can be a little disorienting. Um, man. Looks a farm. Looks kind of pretty, but. Uh, a sign would really help. Cars sometimes help. Those look like old cars, don't they? They're European or 
Yeah, I f I, I'm getting European vibes here. But, like, not your usual France, Germany That's stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. we'll go back. Thanks. Good eye. Good eye. So. Discount. If somebody knows American. this language, call right now. But we're seeing one of those... Uh, <laughs> One of those little accent marks above the C, which makes me think it's going to be Poland or, you know, Belarus or okay. uh, Chechia. And they, something's, you know, cost the 9.90 pounds, right? Poland's very, Poland's usually, yeah, right? So it's European for sure. Poland's usually kind of flat. So these mountains are really kind of throwing me off. So yeah, Austria? Oh, man. Mm, yeah, okay. Why not? Why not? Let's go northern Austria. But this is that's not German. And that's, they speak oh, German sure. in Austria. Um, I trust you. Let's go, like, Slovakia. I don't know. I honestly don't. And, and I, by no means am I an expert in this game. I love this game, but, um, man, there are some people that are very, very good at it. And uh, that I, I'm not one of them. So they, they got closer. It was actually in Albania, what looked like the southern tip of Albania. Um, so you got to file that information for next time. That accent mark above the C could be Albanian. Interesting crosswalk there. Kind of checkered flag. That's a cool little path with the cobblestone path there. Feels European or no? Let's take a look at these kids. They're on a scooter. They have lighter skin. Sometimes that's a clue. There's a boat, so maybe it's by water. Yeah. Um, what? You know, experts can tell by these crosswalks what country it is because each country has a different crosswalk. Looks like he's on a piano. Yeah, the piano one. I don't know which one that is, but yes, that it's referred to as the piano crosswalk, and it is some country. Look at her bag. Okay, I don't know. But look at these houses. Architecture is another one. It's a pitched roof like that. Kind of makes me think that it's more northern European. Um, Zona. Or Thona. Depending on where you are. Um, oh, man. What do you think? So do their Z's with the... So zero would be zero. Yeah. Well, I Maybe. mean... Sure. <laughs> Just depends. These are kind of 70s Maybe older Amsterdam? architecture buildings. Yeah. Well, um, anywhere in anywhere in uh, the Netherlands, you're going to see those long plates, but they're going to be yellow. Okay. Um, so maybe, but I, I think you're. I think we're close. Let's just. I, I could be way off here, but something close to the Netherlands, like Denmark, or something. Let's do it. Let's go to somewhere in Denmark. I don't know. Again, this is a lower silver division player, so we're putting the pressure on him. <clears throat> it was Latvia. Very close. Not, <clears throat> not bad. He was actually closer. Wow. Unbelievable. He guessed Cheche, but somehow he was closer because geographically on the on the globe, he was he was closer. Our logic was better, though. I'm going to, uh, what's that flag? What's the flag? I don't know. Oh, it's got a star on it. And it's red. I don't know. Let's see if we can get around to it. Where'd it go? <laughs> is, it, is it Turkey? Because it's got, I think there is a star and a crescent moon on the Turkish flag. We're going to go it's into like Ankara, Turkey. Yes. Nice. We were three miles away. Wow. Thanks to your keen eye about that flag. We saw a star. We saw a crescent moon. We saw red. That can only mean turkey. Palm trees. Yes. So what does that tell us? It's warm, right? It's going to be warm. And I'm gonna get, I want to get a look at this billboard, the other side of this billboard. Oh, wait. Fanta. Fanta. Yeah. We love the Fanta. Or Fanta. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I really want to get a look at this billboard. It's going to give us a clue. Uh, <laughs> it's... Um, you know, Spanish speaking. So, but it gives me Southern or South American vibes, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Kind of looks like Guatemala. It's bustling. I've been there. 
Guatemala. It's a bustling. They got dominoes. You want to go down? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. We don't have any time. They put the pressure on us. We're going to go into Guatemala City, Guatemala. See what happens. Wow. Nice job, Scotty Fresh. Oh, I almost had to sneeze. Okay. Oh, okay. wow. That was great. Good. You guessed Guatemala. It was Guatemala. If you've been to Guatemala, give us a call, 55020. We want to hear about it. I've never been there. You? I have, yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, der. It might mean der. something else in um, American vernacular. Probably stop. It probably means stop in, in some language. I don't know what language that would be. Der. Der. Um, I wish I knew. Shoot. But we'll know once we get through here. Well, Here's a bunch of cities on this. On this. Now, some people could cheat and just go ahead and Google that city. Mm. We're not cheaters here. We're, gonna, we're just going to guess with the clues that we have. Winners never cheat and cheaters never win. That's so true. Okay. Kes Keskoy. Um, uh, can you read any of that? I don't know. I don't want to embarrass myself too much. Senior. Oh, we got a caller. Uh, no. Uh, no, we don't. Yeah, that's on the other line. Shoot. Uh, we've got a nice little um, scooter there. We've got a mountainous region. We've got some... Oh, man, I don't know. I feel like it's Should like... keep looking? I want to put the pressure on them. I okay. feel like it's a Baltic country. Uh, Baltic Avenue. Yeah, no. But it's, oh man, maybe not. Look at those beautiful green mountains. I love the green mountains. Pressure's on us. I don't know. Let's go. Um, go with your gut. Let's go. Um, so North Macedonia. That's just a guess. I don't know. And, um, wow, this person wow, makes me think he might be cheating. He just knocked us out, but, yeah, got very close. That was Turkey, was it? Shoot. Hey, we've lost every game so far. That's but okay. But it doesn't matter. It's all about the game. I had fun. You know, Did you have fun? I'm having fun. So, speaking of fun. Speaking of fun. We have got some fun videos here on the Star Studio Channel 13, don't we? Yes. Next uh, content here. So this is just little clips of one of our puppy parties. It might be a couple of puppy oh, parties. Oh, man. But, you know, who doesn't oh. love cute puppies? And I was thinking one day yeah, while we were doing doesn't? it, you know, we have our live show, and that's that's awesome. You can go back on our website and watch the shows. But uh -huh. I just wanted to insert little puppy, cute, relaxing videos to our channel. Oh, that's brilliant. Puppies can be watched anytime. That's brilliant, yeah. No, I'll watch that all day. You know, they get a channel of puppies 24-7. Patients and families can come down and like, you know, hold a puppy. That's that's wow. That's awesome. Is that like that's like once a month, right? Every once a month, I think. Is it every first Wednesday of the month? Come on down here in Minneapolis and uh, pet a puppy, hold a puppy. There is something in the works to get a puppy party to St. Paul as well. Oh, that would be great. On that. But yeah. Oh man, look at that puppy one. Video. I feel better. I feel rested. I already do too. That was great. <laughs> wow. Well, nicely done by putting that little montage of cute puppies together. Thank Scott. you. I Thank mean, you. I don't know where you find the time to do all the stuff that you do here, but There's it's time. uh it's pretty awesome. Do we want to get into another round? We haven't won yet. Yeah, we gotta win. We gotta try to win. We have some guests in the audience as well. Well, hello guests in the audience. We're doing the show from the booth right now, but you can uh, you can look at uh, what we're up to. We're going to play a game of GeoGuessr. So if uh, if you want to shout shout out your answer where you think we are going to be in the world, you should definitely do that. Oh, and we've got a guest. Wait, before we do that, look who's here. Okay, I decided to show up. Wow, the dude, everybody. 
He made it. Dude, where you been? He, I don't course, think he's mic'd. Of course he doesn't have a mic. Huh. Eating. Oh, sleeping. eating and sleeping. This is like when TC Bear was on. He got Lifting a like. Lifting weights. Oh, no. Like, oh, that wasn't <laughs> lifting. Never, never. Cool. Should we go back to the. Back to the game. Unless he wants to come get a mic. Was, we'll do it. Uh, we'll let him visit with lost. patients and families. Yeah, we lost. But. Still doesn't time. mean we can't. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Isn't that what they say? Somebody. Wow, this guy's going to beat us. He is trying to get into that gold division right at the top of the silver division. This will be a, quite the upset if we can do it. Spanish-style roofs. European or cars. Roofs, European cars. Oh, here we go. Bien Vendu. That's, That's good. A top Vending. Mobler. It could be, I'm feeling like... It doesn't feel like Spain to me. It feels like Portugal. Just, just does. I don't know why. Let's see. Hmm. Torini. Delicious. Whatever. What is it? I don't know. Oh. I'm just. I, I'm making that up. There's a palm tree. Here's the back of a car, or this truck. Oh shoot. Okay. Side of it. Looking for a country code. That looks vaguely. Dot to you. Or ch dot. Uh, I don't know. It's usually at the end. Let's try to find it. If we knew the country telephone code, that would help. But we don't. Our opponent's taking their time as well. Looking for a country code, I bet. Oh, dot. Dot. G. Dot G? Question mark. Germany? Well, they call themselves Deutschland. Oh, yeah. It's actually D E. I don't know why we okay French, Rue. Right? Yep, Rue de Pate or something. Sarah would know. She would. She She there? should call in and help us out. Yeah, well we know it's Rue and we know it's somewhere are we gonna guess France? I don't know though. It doesn't she feel French, but maybe it is. Let's go. Let's like just a do southern it. French. Yeah. Right by Spain. Yeah. Let's go southern France. Southern ish. Middle to southern France. Hopefully they have Spanish style roofs. They have. We are locked in. And we were correct. Well done, Scott. Thank you. We we put some damage on him too, Andre. Hmm. Here we go. Cool, cool architecture. Looks very uh, European, but could be. We have long license plates, so we are in Europe with the, the architecture and license plate size. We've got Wong Biet or something. I probably just <laughs> totally mangled that, but um, oh yeah, Strasse or Ur Strasse or something. Yeah, we're either in. This is like a Germanic country, so it's going to be. Germanic. I like that one. I don't know. Yeah, somewhere around Germany could be Netherlands, could be Austria. It looks nice. What? Are, yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. So let's, let's go Austria. I always think of Austria as nice. I don't know why. But somewhere near Vienna. Let's just try it. Do you find it... Um, oh, it was Germany, but it was Hamburg. Do you find it's uh, more common to see the bigger cities in these? or? Yes, because there's more roads for that, sure. for that Google card to ride on. Of course, we can't. GeoGuessr doesn't work unless it's, you know. Um, there are exceptions, but it's, it's got to be somewhere where that Google car can go. Maybe you've seen that Google car. Have you ever seen it with the, with the camera on top? I think so. The, yeah. Yeah, I drove, by, I drove in my neighborhood once, and I was like. So this eh. is. Kind of Spanish. Landing. But it's a lot of tack. English on the bottom. Uh, yeah, so you know what? Just A-N-G, that last name. I'm going to go Malaysia. I'm going to say somewhere around Kuala Lumpur. We'll see what happens. Wow. He guessed the exact same thing. It was more near Singapore. Four miles away from his guess. Yeah, so he saw that. That A-N-G, Nang, Kang. That kind of thing, and, and then it's vaguely English almost, then that's when you go Malaysia. So we see that flag there, it is Europe, that's a European flag. We see the linguistic clues with the 
accent marks above the consonants and vowels. So we're gonna we're thinking that it's Chechia or Poland, Slovakia. I'm just gonna like throw the pin down there right in between those three countries and see what happens. And that was pretty good. This is an interesting not city bad. right here. B R N O. Not sure how you pronounce that, but it's a big city in uh Chechia. We're pretty close with this guy. Yes, it's very close. There's the piano man right there again. But it doesn't have an outline around his body parts. So, again, I, I'm not well-versed in that. But somebody could oh, if what's they that? knew that metadata. What's that little map? Is oh, a map? yeah. Oh, that's uh, just alamander. That's probably what the word is, too, alamander. Okay, Catalana. I feel like this is um, Catalan, which is in... Um, I don't know. It doesn't look like Barcelona, but uh, they speak Catalan in, in Barcelona. So uh, that's where I'm going to go. Try to put the pressure on them. So we're going into Spain, Barcelona, Catalonia, which is the, the surrounding area of Barcelona. And um, just put the pressure on. We'll see what happens. I could be way off again. I've been... Sometimes I think them. I sometimes I think I know where I am, and I'm completely on the other side of the world. But it looks Spanish, vaguely, and we were right. It was in Ca well, no, that was Madrid, so it was not Cat Catalonia. But um, pretty, it's pretty very close. close right now. We're we're neck and neck with our opponent here, going into round six, double damage. How many rounds are there? Uh, until somebody gets knocked out. Okay. So here is very flat, um, pretty dry. Um, this is going to be tough. Doesn't look American to me, though, does it? Like, do you no. see trees like this in America? Not, not really. Not common. Doesn't in be, the, if it's dry the road, in Texas, road lines, it's right? Not, the road lines do look kind they of look American, thin. but a little thinner. Here's the next clue. Longer. Bollards. Mile, Things on the side the of the mile road. Mile marker? Yeah. And mile markers and stuff like that. Um, metadata is what they call it. Um, I don't know enough about that stuff, but people that study that get really, really good at this game. Not a lot of identifying markers. Yeah. Dry flat could be ah man i mean it does look american though this lit, these lines look like an american road if there was any i, I don't want to keep going back right so you can. went to africa i don't feel like it but are those buildings on the left be? Are, no could be oh were there buildings you gotta tell me that would be a huge clue that that's a that's a, like a thing that you don't really see in the u.s what is right. that that's a merge thing, but yeah, you don't see that. So Why would you know, merge there? We can just eliminate the U.S. from from this. Same thing with this sign. That's well, that looks like a worn out American sign almost. Oh man, there's gonna be nothing. Our opponents having the same frustration right now. Just no clues. Just out in the middle of nowhere, driving down the road. It's dry, but it's not that dry. Mountain up ahead? No, it's, hill? Yeah, it's starting to get hilly. So that's maybe something. Should we just go and put the pressure you, on him? If you've got a if you've got a guess, you can always call. What is I will put it in that What is that, that up there on the hill? Is that all oh, that just the highway? Yeah, the highway keep going. Oh man. Oh, oh, this is make or break. What do we do? Do we just say oh man, I don't know, Australia or something? Sure. No, Mexico? I don't know, we got a guess. Do it. Uh Mexico. Oh, we both got basically so nothing. I, I was kind of right. That was Eswatini, uh, formerly known as, um, what is it, Swaziland? I think it's formerly Swaziland. Oh, wow, this is lush, jungle. beautiful. You see palms. You like Puerto Rico? I guess it could be. Let's go, let's go down the road here so we can get a sign. Oh, side of a road, dude hanging out. J.R. Welding. J.R. Welding. So we know pro probably English speaking. Which tells us not only could it be Puerto Rico, 
where I, I don't know they, they I think they speak more Spanish there than English but um, a country in which they speak English a lot in a very lush environment is um, the Philippines so it might be the Philippines I feel like it might be. Are we going to guess it? It's lush. It's mountainous. These buildings don't look Central American to me. Um, it looks like we're kind of at a dead end. This is a very short area here. We'll take a look at somebody doing their doing their thing in their house. <laughs> Get snoop on, snoop on some people in their house. Oh, how about the stickers on that car? Oh, take all the time we need. Oh, yeah, here we go. English. It says Jiat, Jiat Mara, but it's mobile something. You had some s window stickers right there. Oh, really? <sighs> Parking stickers. Mm. Uh, let's just go to the Philippines. I don't know. That's my best guess. Are you all right with that? 100%. We're, yeah, we're a team here, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go the Philippines. We'll see what happens. Put the pressure on, you know. Sometimes that's enough, because then they start to panic, and they make a bad move. But this is a make or break round. I believe it's double damage right now. So, oh, it was Malaysia, hmm. and we lost. Well, we'll get him next time. Tough game. Tough, tough game. But you know. It's, oh, not, well. it's not whether you win or lose. It's, it's uh, if you had fun, you should, sometimes. At least in that game. Right. Yeah. So. Next video. Think of Speaking of fun and games, we got a video that I shot. Wait, you helped shoot this too. Yeah, very you? cold. Uh, How cold was it? Oh, my gosh. It was one of the coldest days of the year. It was like, uh, yeah, in ten. the morning it was below zero. It was single digits when we shot this. I know we were nervous about Will the cameras we there's, use? There's, there's a fellow tech, sorry, studio tech person, Broseph slash Joseph. Here he is. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Good. All right. Say hello to the, our viewers if we, hello. if there's any out there right now. They might just be like, no, oh, the dude's not on. Come on. Then yeah. they turn the channel. But hopefully you're with us still. And um, we invite you to watch this video, which we shot this winter at Rice Park in St. Paul. Check it out. Everybody, it's Sarah Bear and I'm in Rice Park in St. Paul for the Winter Carnival and I am surrounded by so many huge chunks of ice that have been carved in an amazing way. If you can believe it, they start out carving these huge chunks of ice with chainsaws and then they chisel them down to find pieces of art. I'm right by, look at all these robots. There's all kinds of crazy stuff. Have you ever seen an octopus made out of ice? Well, Tom Klug made this. Can you believe it? Looks like a bunch of see-through marbles. Can you believe this sculpture? Look at this. Some gorgeous dancer, but I tell you what, it's so cold I wouldn't be lifting up my skirts in this. Hey, Tom, Klug, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here today out in the cold. <laughs> uh, we are actually carving pieces of ice for Children's Minnesota. <laughs> we had a couple kids draw some pictures and we're gonna try and bring them to life. Yeah. So Ian drew me a loon. We're so, gonna try and uh, bring it to life. If you wanna see those drawings get uh, turned to into blocks of ice, you'll have to stick here at Channel 13 Star Studio to see the end of that video because at the end it's a big reveal of um, the drawings transformed into blocks of ice. It's really cool and um, it was really great to be a part of um, documenting it and uh, highlighting it. It was pretty cool. That's super cool. Yeah. So um, do you have a favorite video that we're playing right now on the channel? Of course you're new. This is Joseph. New-ish. Right? What, like a month now? Yep, yep, a month now. Okay. Have you seen a video that you like that we should do more of as a new person? Because, you know, you've got a fresh set of eyes here. Oh, so. I don't know. Um, 
I enjoy all of them because they're all new to me, but... Mm -hmm. Have you seen our slow motion stuff? Slow, slow motion is good. Oh, slow-mo stuff, yeah. We should. Do you want to take a look at some of that? Sure, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, might as well. Now you're getting a sneak peek at all of our okay. uh, other stuff. But Yeah, let's take a look at this. slow it down wow oh so we're increasing the frame rate right so the hot, the more frames per second there is the slower the video appears well, it it's kind of fun ominous music <laughs> kind of builds the tension very futuristic yeah Oh, it's kind of cool the way the water returns like that. It splashes up. It creates kind of a vortex. Am I, am I saying the right thing? Wow. That was something. So yeah, we got more of those too. We got the slow-mo show. We got um, all kinds of things. I don't know if we can really get into it because we've only got three minutes left. This time has gone so fast, but I'm glad you were able to join us. Yeah. Joseph. It's a lot of fun. Yes. I don't know. Do we sneak in one more game? I don't think we can. Nope. No, we can't do it. I think we're going to wrap it up at this point. But if you want to see some of those videos, you like those videos, just keep it right here on Channel 13. If you have ideas for videos, we want to hear them. So, um, you know, get a hold of your nurse. Get a hold of, uh, don't, you know, probably don't bother your doctor, but, you know, your child life person. Um, anybody and fill out Star something Studio. let us know get on the website Child um, starstudiomn.org and um, let us know what you want to see here on channel 13 because this is we're doing it all for you and um, later on today we will be doing something for you as well the dude will be back he's going to be back and he's going to be playing video games the thing he does best <laughs> in his own mind uh <laughs> He's, I don't know if he's going to try Minecraft, but I know... I don't know. He's, he's been trying out a whole bunch of stuff today. So. If he does do Minecraft, I guarantee you are better at Minecraft than him. <laughs> he's going to need some help. So call in on that show as well, and um, we'll see you then. It's at 2 o'clock. So for uh, me, Mr. Wizard, DJ Scotty Fresh up here. He's not on mic anymore. And Joseph, the new guy. <laughs> thanks uh thanks a lot this has been fun we should do it again yeah do you want to do it again yeah all right i'm gonna try to uh roll that outro let's do it ready thank you very much we'll see you and as the dude would say hashtag later bye bye the clubhouse the clubhouse the clubhouse old friends calling to play some